Let us move on now to some interesting bits of news that have happened recently. Talking points. Talking. These aren't, yeah, these aren't big, huge um, things that we're going to be discussing for the longest time. Talking points. Things we need to talk about and things that you might have missed. Um, did you know, Bunny? Yes. That, yes. Netflix, that Netflix is now making interactive content. Interactive content? No. Well, um, they have been doing these DreamWorks animated spinoffs for a while. There, there's the Madagascar spinoff, and that's like on its fourth season somehow. Yeah. And um, Puss in Boots, the um, Antonio Banderas character from Shrek, has had is on like season five or something like that. Some crazy long amount of time. So anyway, recently, like about a week, week and a half ago, they released a cartoon on Netflix called Puss in Book. And it's about 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> really? That did it for you? They used really? to keep those books behind the counter. And when you purchase them, you get them in like a plain brown wrapper. Yeah. So you would have so, to go to the pimply faced teenage kid. Yeah. And say, yeah, I'd like to get a copy of Swank. Yeah. <laughs> So it's called Puss in Book, and it's essentially a choose-your-own-adventure cartoon on Netflix. Yeah. So uh, Puss in Boots is stuck inside of a book, and you decide what happens to him. Like every five or six minutes, you get a choice that you choose with your remote uh, what happens to the main character huh. the both bella and maxwell have played has played it maxwell's played it like three or four times he likes going back and doing the choices that he didn't do the last time and uh bella did it first and she really liked it and uh sometime this at the end of this month i believe they're releasing another interactive cartoon and it's called like billy something or other i don't remember but this could be this could become a big thing yeah. Like right now it's just kids cartoons, but uh I would love to see them do this with one of their live action TV shows for adults. Like I, I like, uh, I'm thinking there's a bit of awesome here, yeah. 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 Like like you could really make like a like an interactive Netflix movie right now with this technology that they have. And number 1 Number two, maybe you could make like a game of it. You could do like a like a interactive game. Uh, Eleanor, thank you for that. Um, you probably shouldn't be getting in there. No, Eleanor, stop taking the tape off of the cabinets. You cannot get in this cabinet unless you plan to wash my car. You cannot get in this cabinet. I'm gonna have to tape these. Don't you talk back to me? Don't you talk back to me? She could not talk, I swear, like five days ago. And now it, talking is all she does. Yeah. She's just talk, 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 talk. <laughs> she will not stop talking. Don't take the tape off. The tape is there for a reason, Eleanor. You can't get into that cabinet. I, I have experience with this age children. They love to take tape off. You put tape on something, yeah. they pull the tape off. Doesn't matter where, yeah. why, or what for. Yeah, she is, she, she is freaking trying me right now. We have family pictures taped up on the walls. Kids are always picking at that tape, trying to get that tape yeah. off. <laughs> uh -huh. Like I, like I have never watched and will never watch an episode of Fuller House on Netflix. I, I had to watch the first one. I watched part of the first no, one. No, not me. Yeah, nope. I don't have to. It was for me. It was basically like, oh, that's what that one looks like now. Yeah. Oh, that's what yeah. that one looks like now. Oh, oh, that's all of them. I'm done. <laughs> but I would really like it if they got this Puss in Book interactive technology and put it to Full House yeah. and Fuller House, and it's like, oh no, the box is coming and the house is a mess. Now you, the viewer, can decide what happens. Should they? try and pull off this dinner with her boss or should they all die yes boom yes. 
Suddenly, and, I'm a huge fan of Fuller. And then we would find out that, like, like later on, or however the voting happens, or we would find out that a character died because most of America didn't like how they smiled. Yeah. You know? And yeah. just, like, stupid shit. <laughs> he used spaghetti. No, he didn't. Did you something else? Yes, I did. I'm just trying to. He, he, he's like, he's me every five seconds. It's trying. So anyway, interactive content on Netflix. I think that's pretty interesting, and I think that if you don't have kids, you have no freaking clue that that's happening. But anyway, yeah. it's happening, and hopefully, it becomes a big thing. In ironic news, did you hear about Hobby Lobby? Yes. Yes. How much fun I is love that? This so much. They were Hobby saving. Lobby. The Christian craft store that won't provide birth control because it goes against their biblical principles yes. was fined $3 million by the federal government for smuggling ancient Iraqi artifacts into America. They were saving them. Okay, according to their biblical principles, but not birth control. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear about this. Like, they yeah, were saving yeah. them. I, 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 well, I caught headlines on it, and I, I, it wasn't something I felt I needed much more to know about it. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I love that so much. That brings a smile to my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it can have religious views because corporations are people. Yeah. 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 Fucking ridiculous. How fucked up have we gotten? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in more in more fucked up news, recently yeah. on at, at the Alex Jones radio show, I believe his show is called I'm a Screaming Hemorrhoid. Yes. So, on the Alex Jones I'm a Screaming Hem Hemorrhoid radio show, Alex Jones interviewed a former CIA operative named uh, Robert David who accused NASA of kidnapping children mm -hmm. and housing them on a secret child farm on the planet Mars, uh -huh. where the kids are slaves and their bodies are harvested. Yes. But they're not sure why yet, but they're definitely 100% certain that uh, <laughs> NASA is stealing children and uh, they're slaves on the planet Mars. 100% certain about that. Yes. And my first so, thought was like, NASA doesn't have the fucking budget for that. Yeah, NASA has like, <laughs> yeah, NASA's got nothing. Yeah. So then NASA had to actually come out and officially state that no, there is no secret child slave farm on Mars, ladies and gentlemen. Trump's America. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That it was going to be eleven o'clock now. Really. She I just, think they're trying to push me. Yeah, Emerald's just... see how late it can go. Yeah, Emerald's just trying to fuck with you at this point. Yeah. Now, here is an interesting story for all of you paranoid people out there, and I know that I'm one. Yeah. A French fitness blogger, which I am told is an actual thing. Okay. So, so a French fitness blogger named Rebecca Berger, because that's a really good... French name. Yeah. She was a good name for a fucking French fitness blogger. Yeah. Berger? French French fitness blogger Rebecca Berger. 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 Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Eat, bitch. Yeah. Why are you screaming at me? She just won't stop talking now. Oh wait, no, she's not even talking. She, yeah, she's, she's just, just screaming my name. She's just screaming your name. Yeah. She has to get to be three years old at least before she gets a podcast. Of her own. Yeah. Yeah. She's just screaming spin-off over and over again. So, a French fitness blogger named Rebecca Berger was in her kitchen when, when a whipped cream dispenser exploded, smashing into her chest and killing her. What was that? I'm sorry. A French fitness blogger was in her kitchen when her whipped cream dispenser exploded, causing the whipped cream can to fly across the room, smashing hard into her chest and killing her. 
Yes, my fellow paranoids, whipped cream bottles can kill you now. <laughs> I know you're all excited for a brand new thing to be scared of. Mm -hmm. Well, whipped cream bottles kill you now. Mm -hmm. Just one extra thing to add to the list. <laughs> I have a hard time going to the bathroom sometimes because I'm worried there's going to be a snake inside. I've never seen a snake inside of a bathroom, but that's just that's just one of my irrational fears. And now to that, I can add whipped cream bottles because <laughs> they could kill you. Yes, I think I, in the bathroom. I, I think I briefly heard of that story and then like nothing yeah. else. Yeah, it, it didn't catch my attention the way it did you. Yeah. Well, I'm bringing the paranoid uh, side of it. Yeah. So, yeah. In sad news, some sad news for TV land, NBC recently canceled the Carmichael show. I am really broken up about that, or I will be when I figure out what show the Carmichael show is. Yeah. I, I, I believe, if I'm not Well, mistaken, I'm out of touch with television anyway, yeah. but. I believe it's NBC's one black show. Okay. Like pretty much every network is like, we're not racist. Look, we have one show we've given the blacks. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure for NBC, it was the Carmichael show. So next season, they're going to have to come up with another show for, for the blacks. Okay. And now here's some, there's also some amazing news out of Maine. Out of love Maine. Yeah, and we love Maine here at the Pope on Film podcast because it's a fun place to shit on. Yes. So Maine, this is interesting. This comes from NPR. Maine, apparently, is closed. Maine is closed. Yep, whole state closed for business. Yeah, apparently in order to run a state, you need money and a budget. Okay. Yeah, yeah who knew? Yeah, so they closed Maine down. Nice. Maine's closed. There's so, actually so that's three that's going states. to impact our lobsters. Yes. There's actually three states that have closed down, and one of them, which is partially closed down right now, is New Jersey. New Jersey's the one you've heard of because Chris Christie's being a dick about it. Yes. Because right now Chris Christie is all like, hey, because of our budget shortfall. We need to close down this ice cream store. Everybody out of the ice cream store. Mm -hmm. And then him and his family goes into the ice cream store and eats all the ice cream. <laughs> it's basically what Chris Christie's doing right now. Well, it, basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would also like to take this time to piss off our YouTube commenter by stating... That in 2016, at one of Donald Trump's famous Nuremberg rallies, that Donald Trump promised, quote, I'm going to be so presidential. Jesus, Eleanor. I'm sorry. I accidentally, no, I purposely put her down so I could do something. Oh, that's your mistake right there, putting her down. No, She's my mistake not gonna... was trying to think I could do something. Yeah, yeah, that was your mistake right there. So in 2016, Donald Trump said, and I quote, I'm going to be so presidential, you'll be bored. You'll be bored. Yeah. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He said that he, he would be so presidential that we would all be bored. I'm super bored. <laughs> I'm super bored, too. I'm super bored. I, I, I'm tired of all the winning. Yeah. Yeah. Also, there's a picture that's making the rounds of social media that's from Pompeii that seems to show a victim of Mount Vesuvius masturbating as he's killed. Yes. Hats off uh, to this gentleman. Hats off to this man. He is my hero. He is my hero. I've the lava's coming, and he's like, I've got a minute left to live. Ah, I got the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you know? but like, if you knew your impending doom was coming and it wasn't yeah. like at the hands of another human, but yeah. you only had like a minute or two left, wouldn't you want your last moment to be of orgasmic bliss? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I am no, totally I'm, down like, with this. What are you talking about, but just your description? Yeah, yeah, I'm on board. Yeah, I love this man. This man or, as an alternate theory, though, okay. 
this might have just been his normal time, you know, just like, you know, you know, sun's directly overhead. I got to rub one out, you know? Yeah. yeah and he had himself a cave and he would go to that cave every day and he was just so fucking <clears throat> into it. He didn't realize a volcano had erupted. <laughs> or, or, or in, in a slightly different version of that, it's like, yeah, I know the lava's coming, but it's, it's 1245 and I do the same thing every 1245. <laughs> I'm not going to stop my jacking just because some volcano went off. <laughs> you know? That yes, that's work. that's very much like the people who won't leave their houses. Yeah, yeah, during a flood or something. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, Andrew Garfield. He was our last Spider-Man. And you might know him as the cousin of Andrew Odie and Andrew Nermal. And one of our former presidents, Andrew right? Garfield. Yeah. I'm standing beside beside that joke, honey. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. You can make whatever face you want. I'm standing beside that joke. I'm not making a face. <laughs> Andrew Garfield recently came out as gay. Okay. But I still hate the man. Why are we giving our superhero roles to British people when there are so many gay Americans that we can have <laughs> these superheroes? Yes. So the one who did that dance to Rihanna's umbrella? No, that's our current Spider-Man. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. No, uh, Andrew Garfield is currently in the movie Dunkirk. Oh, he's so in apparently the, I have he's to in the Spider-Man that I never war. saw because what's his name? <laughs> Spider-Man ruined it for me. Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire ruined me for Spider-Man, so I never saw Andrew Garfield. But I can't wait to see Tom Holland. He did all right, but between the first Spider-Man and the second Spider-Man, his uh, American accent got way New Yorky. So in the first one, he's like, hey, I'm Peter Parker. So in the second one, he's like, hey, I'm me. Why are you always busting my chops, huh? I'm going to go get a pizza at Danelli's from 3rd and 26, best in the city. Hey. I, I, saw, I saw the first one, and, and frankly, it was actually like a blind buy for me, so I own it. Um, and I was like, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. This is yeah, good I enough. I don't need to see a second one. I literally gave up after that horrific scene in Spider Man 3 with Tobey yeah. Maguire that made me yeah. feel really super, like, secondhand embarrassment, like I've never felt in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there in the theater, like, holy shit, that's a huge ant. I'm sorry. No. That Why were you thinking that? It, <laughs> it was a premonition to Spider Man 3. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's a huge ant on the wall. Holy shit, that's a huge ant on the wall. Somebody should Sorry, kill that. Sorry, I accidentally brought Ant-Man to this. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, I was sitting in that theater cringing. Like, I, I was so embarrassed yeah. for him. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. I felt the same way when I went to go see Rock of Ages. And Sally Field? <laughs> yeah, Sally Field. Aunt um... May just keeps getting younger. Uh-huh. And so does Spider-Man. Eleanor is actually up for Aunt May in the next reboots. <laughs> so, fingers crossed on that one, guys. Nice. So, so that's... Oh my god, you're dropping stuff. You're dropping stuff. Thank you for the I catch, Bella. Tried to kill it. That's it for Talking Points um, this time. <laughs> 